In partnership with IBM and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, we designed the Blue Gene Q system to be about uh, 20 times faster than our current system. That system, the Blue Gene Q, called Mira, is an amazing system. It's 48 racks uh, in a machine room uh, right over there, and those racks are able to provide about 10 petaflops of computing power to applications. And those applications will be used uh, to understand uh, fluid flow, to understand uh, new types of uh, battery designs, uh, to understand the climate and what's happening with uh, global warming. Uh, those uh, uh, computations are also used uh, by uh, industrial partners. Those partners are looking at things like wind turbines to understand how do we generate more efficient uh, wind energy from the, the Midwest uh, here. Uh, another example uh, are jet engines. Uh, the fuel for jet engines is very costly, and even the smallest design savings in a jet engine will pay off uh, with you know, millions of gallons of uh, fuel uh, savings uh, across the nation. So even though Argon is uh, right now deploying the new computer system here, Mira, uh, we're also already looking at those computing systems that uh, the laboratory will need to solve the next kinds of computational science problems. And that area we call exascale. It's a thousand times faster, a thousand times bigger than petascale, which is our, our current uh, types of systems that we have now. And we realize that the, the problems in designing those sorts of machines are, are based on the design of the chips, or will be down to the fact that uh, there will be only you know, a handful of atoms uh, inside a transistor. Uh, that uh, power and power management uh, will be a key issue, and how to write programs, how to write computer codes for millions or billions of CPUs are all challenges that we're trying to work on here as we look toward exascale computing uh, in the 2020 timeframe.